putting some cleats on it, paddles, metal paddles. So, because uh, for the longest time, whenever I drive this, the track just spins. So we went out, bought some new skis. I guess they're on their way. They're not here yet. And we bought some bikes, studs, studs, studs. No studs. No studs. It's basically was a stud though. That's what it's meant for. So it's gonna throw the snow, and it's gonna really help with our traction. Welcome back to another day. Um, same video, different weekend. Where uh, we took the exhaust out, filled up chain case oil. We are just vacuuming it out and fixing up all the mini problems that I have created for this thing over the past two, three years? Four years? I can't remember. Um, we got finished paddling the track so we went with three no seven eighths of an inch um, paddles so it should just just enough to um, throw more snow to get this thing moving faster instead of sliding so much and digging in um, it might put a lot more stress on the belt maybe on the track Maybe the motor won't handle it, we don't know. We're gonna figure it out, so, yeah. So Dad, what are we doing? Okay, so the enticer a long time ago was in a bit of an incident. We sheared off the right shackle, which is the how it steers. The ski and the uh, was never replaced with the proper shackle, so it's got two left-hand side shackles on it. If you look at the front, it's uh, off balance. So they were always driving with one ski tucked under the machine too far. And we've always tried to find another shackle, never been able to come up with one. So I'm going to be building a plate to maybe compensate and uh, change the way it rides so you can come and look. This is the this is the proper left shackle and you can see the it narrows on that side and it's straight on this side. If you look on that side narrowed on this side when it should be on this side. So when this was mounted, it was this way. The spring actually sat over here. 
So that meant the ski was actually inside. And that's why I kept rolling on that side all the time. So we're going to try to fix it. Yeah. Jerry style. Jerry style. <laughs> Jerry rigging it. And Jack up there. <laughs> Another Jerry rig there. So if you have, if you ever wonder why I named the channel after changing it or when I changed it, it's because, um, because we do a lot of Jerry rigging, and I thought, well, we Jerry rig to ride something continuously so i was like why not call it jerry rider the jerry riders so, there you go that's where it came from so we re-welded the exhaust um if you knew before this thing uh broke off down there and that to hold the exhaust in so i was just hooking it on here for a while fix that also the patch job that because it broke it's wrapped by this type of stuff underneath and then we just put this as a protective covering um, every single one of those rivets there were all broken and on this side every single one was broken some of these nuts uh, and bolts we gotta figure out something with the seat we also did put on new sliders and some new clips in some places so that's gonna be good of course we have the new skis and uh, yeah I have some other things in mind that I want to do with this if we get around to it there it is Still tucked under. I'd like to get that shim a little more. We'll have to see once the weight's on it, but it does. Yeah. And if Morgan takes it off a couple jumps, it'll probably just straighten right out. <laughs> just maybe. So, some of you guys may be wondering how's the shotgun lineup? Well, we're gonna put it right there and mount it to the side. Outside. It may torque, but we'll see. So give it. That's what it could look like. We'll let it down. Turn it off. You can edit that. Wow. 